Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this session of atomic structure, we will start with electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiations. Alright, we will go into their definition, what, they, what do they mean and some of their characteristics. Alright, so let's begin. First, what is electromagnetic wave or radiation? See, wave is basically something that you study in great detail in your physics. Alright. There you can define it as any disturbance in space, okay? Any disturbance in space which oscillates with time and is accompanied with transfer of energy through space or matter. Okay, that is to say any sort of oscillating disturbance, okay, or any sort of say for example harmonic disturbance which can transfer energy from one point to another point. Okay, and that transfer can be through a material medium or through vacuum. Okay, so such disturbance is what we know as wave. We don't have to go into their details, but we do have to study electromagnetic wave. Now, electromagnetic wave is also known as electromagnetic radiation. They are the same term for us. All right, and that is something which will take play will take into account in this session. So first point that you need to know about electromagnetic wave is they do not require material medium to propagate. By material medium I mean they do not require matter to propagate. For example in space you can say that there is a vacuum there alright but sunlight or sun waves travel from sun rays travel from sun towards earth alright and they do not need any material medium over there. They can very easily travel from there to earth. Alright, whereas on the other hand, the other kind of waves are what we call mechanical waves or material waves. For example, sound waves, which cannot travel through vacuum or empty space. Alright, they always need matter for their propagation. So, electromagnetic waves do not require matter for their propagation. Next thing, they are not audible to human ear. Again, whereas sound waves were audible to human ear, okay, but electromagnetic waves cannot be heard by us. You cannot hear sunlight but you can feel sunlight or you can see some part of the sunlight all right similarly they can be generated whenever a charged particle is accelerated now this is only the most common and one way of generating electromagnetic wave there are other ways obviously but the best way or the easiest way is to just take a charged particle okay any charged particle it can be positively or negatively charged and just accelerate it all right that is move it with some acceleration all right any acce acceleration so resulting because of that, that acceleration will be a wave called electromagnetic wave okay. so electromagnetic waves are always accompanied with alternating electric and magnetic field production and transmission okay. now see this is again something that it you study in greater detail in physics we don't need to focus upon it in chemistry but what we do need to know over here is that a wave is not just a wave traveling from one place to another it is also accompanied with electric and magnetic fields with it all right so when we say that a wave travels from point a to point b the electric and magnetic field which is present with that wave also travels from point a to point b how do they travel with the wave that is something we'll study now so a general em wave looks like this okay so on the on this end this is the source where the wave is generated all right so this is a discharging spark or oscillating molecular dipole that is in other words you can say say it's some some sort of charged particle being accelerated from this point to this point and back from there to here so this charged particle will generate a wave and the wave starts traveling in this z direction so this is the direction of propagation of your wave all right so your electromagnetic waves starts from here and it travels in straight line from up to here okay so where is the oscillation taking place the oscillation which is accompanied with this wave is actually the oscillation of electric and magnetic field of that wave alright so for example this red color okay red color wave or red color this sinusoidal part can be said to represent electromagnetic part of the wave or the electromagnetic field which travels with this wave 
perpendicular to this red one is the blue color wave okay so this blue color wave will then become the magnetic part or the magnetic field which transmits with the wave all right so one is say in x plane for example you can say that the magnetic field is in x plane the electric field is in y plane and in which case the wave propagates in the z plane okay along the z axis all right so all three are perpendicular to each other this is another characteristic property of electromagnetic wave that the electric and magnetic field vectors okay their direction is perpendicular to the direction of propagation that is the direction of the wave velocity is perpendicular to the electric and magnetic field both of them okay so this is how an electromagnetic wave might look if we could see it all right so some of the characteristics of electromagnetic wave which we have to cover in our syllabus are wavelength frequency velocity amplitude and wave number all right now these terms are something we'll study in the next session we'll look at their definitions and the notations all right and some of their calculations as well okay so using these terms we can define a wave okay a specific kind of electromagnetic wave all right so that is why we are calling them characteristics of an electromagnetic wave how do we analyze an electromagnetic wave see it is different from mechanical wave in the sense uh, you must have seen say rippling effect in water all right for example if you throw a stone all right say this is a lake so if you throw a stone over here you can see the rippling effect traveling from this point towards the end okay now this is another example of mechanical or material wave all right so this wave which you see in water requires water that is matter for its propagation from this point towards the end or towards the outer radius all right so this wave is mechanical wave which is different from electromagnetic wave which i told you is what we use we we can see in sunlight all right and even in your microwaves what you see is electromagnetic waves all right and uh, even in fact in your radios you also see electromagnetic waves once again all right so all those are electromagnetic waves which are not visible to us all right but which we can feel now electromagnetic waves transfers energy through empty space so every waves tra every wave transfers some kind of energy but electromagnetic wave has a unique capacity of transferring energy through empty space when there is no matter at all right so this makes it very crucial for us okay we can use it for communication even in outer space right just like we use radio waves so maximum and constant velocity in vacuum so in empty space or what we technically know as vacuum electromagnetic waves have a constant and their maximum velocity okay so in vacuum all electromagnetic wave have the same has the same velocity all right we'll study that value and we'll also study some of its feature in our subsequent sessions now they have transfer propagation now this is another thing that differentiate it differentiates it from mechanical wave okay transverse means it is perpendicular that is if wave velocity is over here the propagation of wave is here then the displacement of particles or the electric or magnetic field is perpendicular to that okay that is the particles can be said to be getting displaced in the direction perpendicular or they can be said to be oscillating in the direction perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation whereas in mechanical wave the particles are displaced parallel to the wave propagation okay that is the oscillation of particles is also in the same direction in which the wave travels so this is the mechanical wave whereas transverse propagation is what we call when the particles are displaced in the perpendicular direction example in em waves okay now this kind of propagation is called longitudinal propagation now something that you are again going to study in physics okay longitudinal propagation now transfer propagation is what we observe in em waves all right so this is all that we need to know for today so until next time and once again thanks for watching edupedia world videos